I had never dreamt of migrating in my life. The major reason I came here was looking for better opportunities. Living as a migrant, you just have to sleep with one eye open. The first time I came in South Africa from Zim was in 2009. So I had come to visit my sister, but I had no intention of coming full time to South Africa. This area is called Itereleng in Northwest Province. It's a new developing area. As you can see, some of the houses around, they are still under construction. We started uh, building last year in June, uh, but then yes, things happened. Uh, uh, around November, my husband lost his job, so we just put everything on hold. This one is supposed to be the lounge, and that one is the kitchen. As a migrant who come from a very small village in the rural areas where education isn't valid at all, I don't want myself to fall in that trap. That's why I decided to embark on my PhD journey. With PhD, you learn to be independent, you learn to be initiative. Now it's a few steps to the elite minds, which will enable me to effect change in my community. I'm an early morning person, so I would prefer waking up around two, three, and start working on my stuff. Then around six, I'll get my boy ready for school. But now considering that his school is very far, so he has to leave home around half past five. If I work around three to start doing my work, I only have an hour. Here is our study. When we went to hard lockdown, the e school resorted to homeschooling. Yay! So, yeah, I had to become a teacher. I have to travel 150 kilometers from where I stay to campus. Prior to COVID, I always preferred to go to campus and use the library but now I have to work from home. And yeah, sometimes things, they, uh, it comes a bit tricky to balancing my school work, uh, being a mother, being a teacher, being uh, a wife. My husband, uh, when it comes to house chores and with the boy, uh, he's a bit, I don't know if I could say patriarchal or what, but yeah, he's not the helping type. The other challenge which I faced during this pandemic I was the issue of financial constraints because I'm a full-time student, I'm not working, though I sometimes do some part-time research work, especially with regards to paying my boy's fees because the boy is autistic, so he's attending a remedial school, which is a bit expensive.
there are times where I sit down, you would miss home, uh, the parents back at home, relatives, and everyone. Father, keep quiet, Nana. Boy. Since the beginning of the pandemic, since last year, I haven't been back home in Zim. Though I have some family members here in South Africa, but uh, due to restricted movements and also for some safety considerations, we don't usually see each other as we used to do. Instead of migrating to any other country, I would prefer to go back home to my home country. So if there is any other country that I would love to live in, in one of the days, is my home country so that I could be able to work for my community and bring about change in the community.